Hi guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. Um, this morning I woke up pretty early because I just I just had energy basically. The lighting is great, so I thought I would start filming basically. Um, I just have to point out first of all that it is freaking hot. It is so hot and I can handle the heat if I can walk into AC as well. And London does not have a lot of AC, so this flat doesn't have AC, that's the thing. My old, my previous place, I had like central heating and cooling because it was like a new build, but this, I live like in an older property now and they do not have AC. As you can see from this title, I am sharing my top five summer handbags um, or just the handbags that I plan on rotating a lot during the season. Um, you would have seen, I would have shared all of these handbags, nothing new. Some of some of them are more newer than others, obviously. I'm also going to do a um, Dior unboxing. So that will be at the end. Anyways, let's start with the five handbags. So the first bag has to be my Fendi Baguette, my latest woven in the lilac in medium size. I am so obsessed with this. Obviously, first and foremost, the color but it's just the material something i don't have in my wardrobe and it's just been so nice to use this especially with my summer outfits this has worked with literally everything i have to like try and put this bag down to use a different bag because other bags work too but this one just is just so easy obviously i've now used this bag multiple times and can now conclude that this is a great everyday bag for me because it fits everything that i need um, including my camera, my little Sony one. Obviously my Leica one doesn't fit in here because it's like too, super bulky, but my iPhone X Max fits in there, my my little Hermes wallet, and then of my keys, which are bulky because I have a little mini poly pocket on it. So all of that fits in this bag and it doesn't look bad because of its material, even if it bulks out a little bit, it's not very noticeable. I'll definitely put in a picture to show you guys with the camera inside as well. My favorite way of weighing this bag is crossbody. It's just easiest for me, easy to get in and out of. So yeah, I just love this with casual denim and just t-shirt looks as well as like girly dresses and stuff. So I am thoroughly enjoying this and will continue to enjoy this. Sticking to the same family of colors, actually the last four bags are all Chanel, but same family of colors, this is like a pinky purple bag. This is a vanity case. And um, Jacob and I have concluded that this is a Daphne from Scooby-Doo. This is her color and I am here for it. It makes me love the bag even more because I freaking love Scooby-Doo <laughs> so much when I was younger. There's something about this bag when you're carrying it. It just feels really special. I think structured bags in general makes it feel more luxurious and special. I personally don't like the... Um, two-tone ones where like the, C the CC is like a different color and like the lining is a different color than the rest of the bag. Um, I just personally don't like it. I prefer just the one tone on the vanity, <clears throat> specifically on the vanity. Um, yeah, I'm just really glad that I waited for this one because this is like my favorite color that I've seen of it. It is so beautiful. It's so me. Could not be more me. I think one improvement they can make on this bag is the bottom. I don't understand why they, they don't they don't have feet. I feel like a bag like this, a structured bag like this with the top handle and everything, they usually have feet at the bottom. Maybe it's cuter to hang the lockout or is that too much of the double C? Yeah, maybe that's too much. I don't know, but this is a really pretty lock as well. Like someone can yeah so i've seen a lot of like people sell locks to make into necklaces just realize because this is always hidden underneath here anyway you never see it unless i pull it out but like i said i think it might be too much having two cc's there could i pull this out and put a chain on it and make a necklace that's kind of cool it's like super oversized, so it's like 90s vibe. Anyways, random idea. I know people do that with the Louis Vuitton locks. Next, we have another vanity bag. I'm pretty sure this is also called a vanity case. Are them both called a van? Could be wrong. I will double check on that. But this is in a gorgeous lime green color. This is actually my mom bought me from Singapore. I didn't see this in London because for Chinese New Year, I bought the red full like the full red leather version <clears throat> I didn't see this one then um, but yeah when my mom went to Singapore she spotted this and got it for me I got it more towards the end of summer so um, didn't have too long with it so I'm really excited to bring this back out this summer 
I do, however, I have noticed a foundation mark there, which isn't great, but we can ignore them. I'm sure that can be fixed or, yeah. So it's just a hole, and I love bags like this. Again, structure. This is a little bit more flimsy than, the, than this one. This one does feel a bit more luxe, but still that structured vibe is really nice. So again, wish this had feet. So I had to include a classic flap into this video because I do love my classic flaps. Um, I have so many of them, so I've decided, and I've said this, I've said this in a previous video, that I don't plan on adding any more, especially because I don't reach to them as much. I feel like at this point I'm buying it more of a collector's purpose as opposed to knowing that I'm going to use it and I like to buy collector's things that I will also use and I feel like with the Chanel Classic Flaps they're all the freaking same style obviously and it's just the different colors and materials and hardwares and stuff like that that's what changes but at this point I feel like I have such a good round of sizes, the colors, the materials the, um, and, the, and the hardwares as well so I won't say never, but as of now, I really don't plan on adding any more classic flaps into my collection. I am toying around with the idea of getting a sequin one, because I don't have sequins of one kind of material that I don't really have, the sequin one. So this umbrella collection is actually one of my favorite from Chanel. I absolutely love it. Um, I was actually in Paris when they launched the, the collection, and I quickly ran in to get this little pouch, this patent leather pouch, because I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Um, but then when I was in Dubai, they had more of the collection there. Um, this was Dubai Airport, by the way. They had more of a collection, more of the collection there. I was looking at a couple things, and then she busted out the classic flap, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's the one! I really want this one." <laughs> um, so I decided to go with the classic flap. I love this matte finish, and here's the interior. I love that the print continues inside. Not here though, but yeah. last bag is this giant chanel tote or beach bag and i definitely shared this in my recent <clears throat> chanel ham vintage handbag collection video um i've seen this bag in so many really fun colors like pink and green and i think those are the two so far so just pink and green and i actually prefer those colors because you guys know i love fun colors but I end up going with the black because this is the bigger size and I do prefer the bigger size for the beach. Um, I also figured black is just super easy. Um, I don't own any like black beach bags or anything. The Chanel logo is both at the front and back. And then it's got a pouch to put your, um, your valuables in. But I've worn, I've worn this to the beach twice already here in the UK and it's worked super well, super easy to clean. I get sand all over this. And just shake it out and wipe it down. Um, absolutely love this beach tote. Let me just show you guys the little gift that I got first. Look at this gift box, guys. How stunning. It's a star, world map, around the world's yore, elephant there, um, lots of animals around, and the back looks like this. Um, and it is a beautiful notebook. I mean, honestly, this is a bougie-ass box for a notebook. It's got blank pages with the Dior logo at the bottom, but... Yeah, really sweet little, like, maybe even a, a travel journal book. That'd be nice. Anyways, that is a huge hint to what I got. Um, so, I don't, can't remember if I mentioned this already, but I've already undid the ribbon. Tried to put, tie it back on <laughs> for dramatic effect for you guys did not work out. Let's do it the right way up. It's better. And here she is. You guys definitely little booklet things know what it is now. It is another book tote. How freaking stunning is this? I am annoyed at myself that I became less patient and just jumped on the wagon and got the oblique in red for the burgundy. I am someone who usually is very patient and will wait for the right one to come out, especially when it when I know they're going to just come out with loads of colors and patterns and materials and whatnot. 
Um, for some reason, I just caved. I really wanted the tote so badly for traveling. I don't regret it because, I mean, it's I, I've used it so much. It's, it's really gotten lots of wear. But looking at this one now, this is so much more beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more. So in my Dear collection, I think I mentioned I really wanted a saddle bag, the, the larger size, since I only have the mini. Um, so I did have in mind to get the um, saddle bag with the Around the World print. But when I walked into store and had a bit of a chat with Trang, she mentioned something that totally made sense and I didn't think about it. Side note, they didn't have the saddle bag in, from this collection in the store. You had to order online. Um, so I didn't even, I couldn't even see it in person, but she did show me pictures of it and I zoomed up on the bag and I realized because of how intricate this bag is with all the embroidery, the star, the like the globe and the outlines and stuff, there's a lot going on and on the saddle bag, which is literally like half the size of this, you can barely see the detail. It just kind of looks like there's a bunch of things going on. I'm not really sure. It, and also they don't go into as much detail and the point of this collection for me is the detail and yeah everything about it especially the elephant up top here like I know it's like half cut off but it is there and I love it <laughs> I love that the countries are outlined in a bit of color so there's a tiny bit of color in this bag it's like green there there's pink there and there's purple there you can tell <laughs> That's a really nice detail. It's the same size as my other one. I love this size. It's just massive and fits a lot of things really easy. So this about wraps up my favorite summer bags as well as my Dior unboxing. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Um, leave any comments or suggestions you guys have down below. I really, really do appreciate the love and support that you guys are always showing. And hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again next time. And until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye.